Chào mừng quý vị và các bạn đến với chương trình Đồng tiền Thông minh trên kênh FBNC Và ngày hôm nay chúng ta sẽ tìm hiểu về vấn đề định cư tại nước ngoài thông qua các hình thức đầu tư Mời quý vị cùng gặp gỡ với vị khách mời ngày hôm nay của chúng ta Đó là ông Trang Phan Soa Harvey Là nhà sáng lập và giám đốc điều hành của Harvey Law Group toàn cầu Thank you so much for coming Thank you for having me Thank you, Thank you. how are you? Good, good So you came to Vietnam in 2008 That's correct uh, yeah. What brought you here? Uh, we were looking at the different uh, countries in Southeast Asia And we said that we thought that Vietnam was a good choice, and we were right. And we were very happy with our choice to open in Vietnam. At that time, how is the market in terms of immigration? It uh, was services? it was quite minimal. It was a minimal market. There was few consultant there and there, but not giving much information. Mm -hmm. So uh, we came in and start to give more information, educate more education, if you want, okay. about the immigration. And then since then, the market's been growing and growing year after year. So how does, how does that create some challenges for you during the early days, and how do you overcome it? Uh, what challenge we had at that time is was to, at first, have people trust us, right? Mm -hmm, sure. uh, there was so many bad stories of foreigners coming in and uh, flying, uh, flying away, right? Mm -hmm. So after they saw that, after one year, after we, we were one year open in, in mm -hmm. Vietnam, then people start to see that we were serious about it. Mm -hmm. And of, of course, we uh, we had some uh, marketing behind that also, and we uh, try to inform people that the office exists back to 1992, so mm -hmm. it's not like a new office or anything like that. So you're offering uh, people the opportunity to, um, let's say, do some investment with the immigration opportunity. That's so, correct. So um, yeah. why do you need, what do you need an immigration lawyer for this kind of an investment? Well, it's all about law, right? Uh, immigration law are complex. Uh, there's a lot, not only the law, there's regulation and the forms and things like that. And it's very complex. So you has to, has to be a lawyer and a good lawyer too, mm. to be able to present uh, a case in a decent way and to make sure that the case get accepted too. And it's not only about putting document and forms together. It, mm. it, it's about how to present the case. And once the case is submitted, it's how to push on the case. Mm. You know, because you're dealing with government. So government are not the fastest people all, all the time, right? So mm -hmm. you have to find ways to push for the case to go faster. But again, it's all about law and regulation. Okay. And so not, I mean, people, we, we've seen people without any legal background trying to do immigration. Mm. And uh, it's sadly, they, they make a lot of mistakes, of course. So for the clients, they must find an immigration lawyer. There's no other alternative, right? No, they, they can no try to do it themselves. They can, they okay. some, some will f find consultant mm. and uh, then set their own risk, right? Uh, as a law firm, we have a liability. Uh, mm. we, have in, we have insurance, we're professional. We have a law to respect, of course. Mm -hmm. The other option is what? It's consultant who have no license. Many of them have no license at all. And because they immigrate themselves or they know somebody who immigrate to somewhere, they think they are expert. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to be careful. Yes, it's, it's about everything else, right? Mm -hmm. You go for the expert. So what is the biggest risk for this investment and how do you help the customers minimize the risk? It goes, it, it really depends uh, at what destination uh, you're looking, fine. Uh, by example, for Europe, you simply need to buy a house to be able to reside in Europe for many countries like Portugal, Spain, okay. France. You uh, just need to buy a house? Yeah, just need to buy a house pretty much in Portugal, Greece, and Cyprus. Is How expensive thing. is that? Uh, the minimum cost for Cyprus, I believe, is 200,000 euro. 200,000 euro. Three, yeah, 300,000. Portugal, Spain, Italy is 500,000 euro. So there's no risk then because you buy a house, it's yours. For the uh, US, we are more careful. Uh, mm. US is all about risk because the law do call that the investment must be have some risk in it. Mm. So what you do, you make sure that you choose the right project. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, uh, the way we, we did it is that because there's almost no risk with what we offer is because we choose our ongoing business. Mm -hmm. Most of AB5 are project to be. You know, mm. So they have to sell, let's say, 100, uh, they get to find 100 investors before they can start building. Mm. So n nothing, no, you, know, you never know if it's going to happen or not. Mm -hmm. Where what we did, we chose uh, Lake Point, by example. Why? Because Lake Point was already up and running. Mm -hmm. So the AB5 is just an accessory to them. It's not the reason to be. Okay. So what are some of the countries in the world right now that offer something like EB-5, immigration uh, investment? The, right now you have, 
you have a lot more offer than before. If you recall a few years ago, it was mostly Australia, Canada, and US. Mm -hmm. uh, now you have Australia for five million Australian dollar. Uh, you can get residency now. Mm -hmm. Uh, you just buy bonds, so there's, there's no risk. You just put money in the government bonds. Uh, you have uh, other country, uh, like I was saying, Spain, Portugal, but this is more real estate uh, oriented. You have investment in St. Kitts and Nevis for those who like to acquire citizenship without, uh, without much delay. Hmm. But this is a higher risk, of course. Or you can buy, again, real estate. So it really depends what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And different country, different offer. Right? Okay, yeah. how different? Uh, like, for example, Cyprus, the minimum cost for a house, you have to buy for, I believe, 300,000 euro, mm. while Portugal is 500,000 euro. Uh, France is a different, France they offer, they ask you to open a business, so the investment amount will vary. Or you can buy a vineyard for 10 million euro, mm. and you will get your residence in France. So it really depends. You know? Okay. So for all the offers of uh, Harvey Law around the world, where's the market that you get the most client from? Of course, uh, like everything else, China, uh, right? That's, China yeah, I is, can imagine. Uh, but you'll be interested to know, I'm sure, that Vietnam is the second market. Really? Vietnam is the second market for AB5 and for immigration in mm -hmm. general. And what countries that attract Vietnamese people the, the most? I would say their number one choice is U.S. Uh, Canada is quite attractive. Australia, because it's closer to, and people know Australia very well. But again, like I was telling you, since 2008, we've been educating and informing more pe about the, uh, people about the different options. Mm -hmm. So you have more and more clients are looking for St. Kitts and Davis, by example. Mm. Uh, they will look for Europe, of course. And of course, France. This, this has always been a good relation with France, uh, between Vietnam and France. So more and more people are looking for friends also. Mm -hmm. uh, you are a Canadian law, law firm. So what do you offer an EB-5 program, which is for the immigration uh, opportunity in the US? That's a good question. And I admit, I get this question a lot. Okay. Uh, it's true that in, back in 1992, we, I founded the, the Harvey Law Group in Montreal, Canada. Hmm. Uh, but since those 22 years, we became a real international law firm. We, we're proud to be Canadian, mm -hmm. but we have American lawyer working for us, we have French lawyer working for us, we have German, Italian lawyer working for us. It's, also, it's no more, yes, we're proud to be Canadian. We, we, it's on our letterhead that we are a Canadian yeah. international law firm, but uh, we are just an international law firm. Mm -hmm. That's what we are. We have offices in 16 countries, so they give you a good idea. Okay, so the things called immigration uh, investment in business mm -hmm. and you get the immigration opportunity. Is that popular right now around the world? It's uh, getting more and more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, like I told you, China is getting more popular. What, but what is very interesting since two years is the offering. Uh, like I was saying before, it was pretty much only Canada, Australia, and US. Mm -hmm. Now you have European countries coming in uh, more and more. Italy just announced last week they were coming in. Uh, France, we just launched France a few days ago. Uh, so it's really, really interesting to see that people finally discover that. What is very interesting too is that Canada has closed the door pretty much mm -hmm. to investors. Well, Quebec still open, of course, but Canada uh, closed. And at the same time, you have all those other countries who are looking for investors. So mm -hmm. they were quite happy that Canada closed. <laughs> so they get all those people back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do you think they do that, the, the government or the businessman? Why they immigrate? Mm -hmm. uh, it's for different reasons. The countries, they need, uh, they need the business people to restart their economy. It's one thing to get the money from a business family, but of course the business family who move in a country will tend to do business there too and find new opportunity. So China find that very well too. Uh, Canada was the best example with taking so many people from mainland China the economy grow, of course, because they start to buy Canadian product and export to China. Mm. So it was a great thing. And of course, they took Chinese product to Canada too. Mm. But the same thing is happening with Vietnam too. So mm. the country are looking for the business people. And the business people are looking for more business, pretty okay. much. Uh, maybe education for education reason too. Mm. But by example, a typical businessman in Vietnam will buy, uh, will go for the St. and Navis passport. Why? Because it permits them to travel anywhere they want without visa. Mm. So for them, it's more, it's not about immigration, it's to be able to do more business without the problem of thinking about, I, had, I need a visa for this, I need okay, a Okay, so, so tomorrow morning, they decide to go to Paris, they go to the airport, take mm -hmm. the next flight, and that's so it. So open to other chances that's as it. well. Correct. So how is the, um, the demand of the markets right now after six years that you've been here? 
the demand is increasing. Uh, the economy is getting better too, so that helped too. Uh, the demand is increasing day after day, to be honest. Uh, we're very happy with that. We're busy. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you know, we have office not only in Ho Chi Minh, but in Hanoi and Da Nang too. Mm -hmm. So Hanoi is quite busy, and Da Nang is getting busier too. So we're very happy about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, that give me the excuse to spend more time in Vietnam, okay. which is good. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for good having me. Your business. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những chia sẻ của ông Jung Phan Soa Harvey, là nhà sáng lập và là giám đốc điều hành của Harvey Law Group toàn cầu. À, một công ty luật sẽ cung cấp các à, dịch vụ liên quan đến à, vấn đề đầu tư để định cư Và chúng tôi sẽ còn à, quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa với các phần tiếp theo Để à, trò chuyện chi tiết hơn về chương trình EB5 cũng như là dáng Lake Point ở Hoa Kỳ Quý vị có thể xem lại chương trình trên trang web đồng tiền thông minh fpnc.com Hoặc là facebook.com xuyệt đồng tiền thông minh Chúng tôi sẽ còn quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa